Hello world, my name is Sky, and I got a term for you. It's not a new term, it uh, unfortunately was coined before, but uh, for those of you who've heard of, uh, you know, torture porn, I was going to introduce the idea of violence porn. Uh, basically, when you just have an excessive amount of violence, you know, gratuitous violence. There's a lot of movies, you know, a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger films are like that. Uh, you know, Walker, Texas Ranger kind of stuff. I mean, it's like, you know, in a sense, it's just whatever you expect to have a lot of violence. There's a new movie with Jet Li and uh, uh, Michael Statham coming out uh, called War. And it's just the total epitome of violence porn. You know, it, it, you two powerhouse actors, you know, just known for like over the top action, crazy stunts, this and that. And yeah, they're going to act with against each other. Hell yeah, thank you. Um, I'm, I type in violence porn right now, and I see this uh, Reader's Digest article by Michael Crowley, and I'm just like, ah, damn, you got it. All right, but uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do instead, is market my book or try to push this book I'm, you know, I've just written, and I want people to read. I think people will get a kick out of it, and I also think people will get, hopefully, get the message that's in the book. Um, you know, and it's just one of those things you got to read. You know. But what it is, is uh, I wrote a book called Gang of Daggers, and in it, a group of high school students discover a magical portal to another world. Now, on Earth, they're considered the nerds, dweebs, social outcasts. They go to this other world, and they're considered men. You know, because age 15, yeah, you were a man, you know, in those days, back in the, back in the days. And the other thing is that uh, there's very, almost no magic, but it's just a little bit, and that's for specific reasons. But really, think like medieval Europe, think like pre-Roman Europe just, you know, a very primitive society, but a bunch of petty warlords and chieftains, and here come these kids with all this knowledge, you know, all this just, you know, just intelligence, you know, they're smart guys, and they go to this world and they realize, you know, well, we're actually, we're better off than these guys, we're smarter than them, we're healthier than them, we're a bit more able, you know, we actually do have an edge against these people, and so they use that, and they realize, hey, you know, we can become mercenaries on this place. We can, you know, sell our services. We can walk around, uh, carry weapons, and, you know, anybody messes with us, hey, we'll kill them, you know. So they're considered men, and they can, you know, drink, chase women, kill, get away with it. It's expected of them, even. You know, and they become mercenaries. They learn magic a little bit. And they learn to become just like an elite fighting force. And so you're going to see just some, you know, a couple battles I wrote in there, and a lot of sword fights and sparring. And just, you know, these guys training, you know, honing themselves into living weapons, learning how to survive on this world, and just, you know, when they go, they go at it. And they're just going to, you know, when we have to fight, we got to fight, kind of thing. So, I want people to read my book, you know, for a lot of different reasons. But one, I think it'll entertain. And if you watch Harry Potter and it's like, I just can't get into it, or you don't watch Harry Potter because of that, you know, yeah. But if you, like, like the end of... You know, you watch Lord of the Rings movies, and you like the la last half of those films, where it's you know, more about the battles and the soldiers and you know fighting and big epic you know struggles. That's my you know writing. Uh, if you like you know Spartacus, especially with those battles, you know the army battles, you'll like my stuff. If you like the Last of the Mohicans, you'll like my stuff. Uh, I mean, God, what, what else? You know, uh, the beginning of Gladiator, you know, and then even the battles in Gladiator, the fights in Gladiator. Yeah, that's my stuff. Just straight on, you know, and if you like Conan, you know, it's not quite crazy, you know, stuff like Conan. No, I try to write it realistic, you know. When I tell people about my, about my book, I say, well, think of Harry Potter meets Sopranos. And maybe with like a little bit of NBC's, you know, Friday Night Lights, you know, and it's just... But just that's just to establish the concept, you know, give, you know, just basically paint the picture, uh, give you the players involved, and give you the setting, you know, or the scenario. Okay, it's you know, all right, so a little bit of fantasy involved, but no, it's more down to earth, like Sopranos, and that everybody is selfish, everybody has their own desires. Friday Night Lights because high school students, so you know, there is this, you know, there's a hidden life, you know, they have to keep stuff hidden, and I just think you know, people will dig it, they'll get a kick out of it. Um, you can go online right now and read my rough draft, and I'm just hoping somewhere, some way, somehow, you know, a literary agent uh, will pick up my book and say, hey, I want to represent you, kid, and, you know, just dig it, and bam, you know.
they'll be on bookshelves. And then my name, Sky. But anyways, uh, like honestly, seriously, uh, it's I. In my opinion, it's going to be a good, entertaining book. It's going to do some stuff which you know I don't see a lot of authors do. You know, it's like when I watch Band of Brothers. I really dig Band of Brothers. You know, I just I just seeing these guys. You know, their lives, what they're going through, what they're facing. You know, just and, and the actors are good too. Just like you know, really when the actor can really nail you, just like you, you're looking at his face, like, oh man, you know, just what happened to them. You know, what what they witnessed, what happened to their buddies. You know, that's good acting. That's really you know like what just sells it to me. You know, and it's not so much the action. It's just like yeah, the impact. So that's what you know. I, I, you know, I almost want to try to get, but at the same time, I want to leave it up to the reader. So I'm not going to, like, you know, cram, like, other fantasy stuff. It's just like, oh, here, I'm going to cram an encyclopedia down your throat with all this information about, like, oh, who this fairy king was, who, you know, the ugly ogre mother was. No, 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 no. You know, none of this, all right? It's just, you know, you walk in, whatever you see is what you see kind of thing. You know, you learn as the characters learn. If it's important information, you hear about it. Otherwise, you can, you know, figure it out for yourself. And, you know, I, I gave that, too. So that way, like, you guys just love to reread. Yeah. You know, it's there. Um, and I just I just hope it's realistic. I hope people, you know, just dig, you know, and they think it's realistic. Or they can, you know, get into it. Because, yeah, I served five years in the Army. And that's kind of like some of the experience I drew upon. You know, what happens when you take, you know, just some scrawny guys and you hone them, you just work them, in, you know, into living weapons, into fighters, you know, you, you know, you can create it, you know, regardless of uh, the group of people you're dealing with, and so I thought, yeah, let's see what happens, but I'm also, like, I'm fascinated by, you know, gang, you know, gang films, gang, uh, ideas, and just like, you know, I watch The Shield, I watch, um, you know, all these other things about gangs, you know, I listen to Tupac Shakur and DMX and just, you know, these other guys, and it's just like, okay, yeah, man, what, so, um, and when I'm listening to, uh, you know, NWA, it's like, okay, what does it mean? What are these guys doing? Why are they together? You know, why, why is it important? And yeah, you know, it's because of who you are, it's, you know, who your, your friends are, you know, and who you are together as an identity, you know, and you have to, you have to represent that, you know, it's very basic, and you're going to see that, you're going to see these guys just get into that, you know, and it's not about race, it's just about experience. It's just about what, you know, each of these guys chooses to do. So, I mean, that's going to be the other dynamic, which I hope just, you know, when you get to it, you'll, it'll, I hopefully it'll blow your mind, you know. So it kind of blew my mind when I was, you know, figuring it out and writing it out. But, yeah. So I want you to read my book. I want everybody to read my book, you know, who basically, if you can handle a little bit of violence, there's no sex, you know, 13 and up, you know, go ahead and read it. Um... You know, if you like just seeing, and that's the other thing, like, people, other writers, they don't write about the violence, they don't write about the fighting, and like, oh, you know, they fought. No, I'm going to show you, you know, you're going to read it, and you're going to be like, okay, this is how he moved his arm, this is how his weapon moved, this is how he injured the guy, this is how he killed the guy, you know, I'm going to give it to you, I'll give it all to you, you know, the reader, not gloss over it, not PG-13 it, not PC it, you know, I want to put some, you know, I, I kind of want to get into some racism too, you know, but like, nah, I'll just leave it out, you know, all right. Make, make it clean, just keep it clear on one thing. But like, nah. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you dig it. Gang of Daggers. Thank you.